hello, it's late. My apologies. It's been a busy day. Uh, welcome to Typical Tuesdays with Tia. This has, day has been anything but typical. But that's okay, right? I mean, sometimes things go later than you think they're gonna go. It's, it's 7.48 here in Nashville, Central Standard Time. So I'm not sure what time it is where you are, but I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're watching. And uh, this is Typical Tuesdays with Tia. My name is Tia Goins. I am a singer songwriter out of Nashville, Tennessee. And once a week, this is a new thing we've been doing. Hey, Elizabeth, I see you guys jumping in there. Good, you're getting notifications, that's good. Um, anyway, I just, uh, we do this on Tuesdays. We just say hey, we just check in, see how everybody's doing. Hey, Danny and Jennifer. What's up, Winnie Fred? I see y'all there. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is what's happening. I'm in my bedroom because Brandon is watching this weird documentary in the living room about English castles and some stuff. So if you're into that, it's apparently on, I don't know what, Netflix or YouTube or something that he's watching. But I thought, I'm just going to go in here and uh, get away in the quiet. So here we are. Uh, let's see. What you guys saying? Did we get any snow? Elizabeth wants to know. We got just a hair of snow. Um, was it last? No, it was the night before last. Uh, just a skiff of snow. Um, and it didn't last very long either which was kind of sad because honestly, if it's going to be as cold as it's been the last few days, it's been like in the 20s and 30s, I need it to snow as well. Uh, Elizabeth got six inches. Yeah, and you're, you're in Texas, right? Because it's like unheard of that Texas gets that kind of snow. I heard that they got a lot. I'm just looking at myself. I'm like, wow, I should have maybe checked my makeup before I started this, but it's fine. It's been a long day. Um, hey, wow, lots of people are on right now. Sorry if I, I'm putting my hand right in front of the camera. Um, hi, there's Dawn and Marion and Marty and Dan and Michelle. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, I'm glad that you guys are liking these things. It's dry. It's, uh, Ohio's drying in the 40s. Yeah, yeah, Texas got a bunch, Dan said. Yeah, I, I guess the snow has been really happening down there. We have not had much. We had a snow here, was it like the day? It was Christmas. I think it was on Christmas. Yeah, it was Christmas Day. We did have a white Christmas. It wasn't a ton of snow, but it was enough to cover everything and make it look pretty, but... Yeah, we, um, Terry said the snow missed them in Heber Springs. And speaking of Heber Springs, that's a nice, uh, nice segue there. Um, we've got a show in Heber Springs, Arkansas. I know, a show in 2021. Can you believe it? Uh, it's in Heber Springs, Arkansas. It's going to be on January the 30th at the Mountaintop Cowboy Church. It's a Saturday night. And uh, it's going to be Ben Hall and I. We're going to do uh, just kind of our country gospel request good times, everybody come, and it's a free show. That's what's really great. Uh, you can get all the information about it at tiagoins.com. It's got the phone number uh, because it is limited seating, so they want you to kind of call ahead and let them know you're coming. Uh, but it's limited seating, but it is an absolutely free show. Heber Springs, Arkansas, Cowboy Mountaintop Cowboy Church. So come and see us if you're around that area. Also have a show on February the 20th. No, I'm sorry, February the 12th. February the 12th, sorry, wrong day. February 12th, 212. Um, and that is in Brooksville, Florida at the Florida Bluegrass Classic. Uh, that is gonna be, it's like a three day festival. Um, I'll be there, the Malpas Brothers will be there. Um, I wanna say T. Graham Brown is gonna be there. There's like some, some major folks gonna be on the show. So you can come and get tickets for all three days. I am there, I believe on Friday night, that's the 12th. Uh, yeah, so I'll be there Friday night. But anyway, we would love for you to come see us. If you have an RV, you can bring your RV, bring your camper. Uh, they have a campsite. It's it's right there in Brooksville. Um, and it's the Florida Bluegrass Classic. Again, all that information, you can go to tiagoins.com. We just updated the website. I say we, <laughs> I just updated the website. So if you find typos, let me know. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Um, but we just updated the website uh, with all of the new dates, which there's just two for 2021 right now. Uh, because COVID. Um, but anyway, so yeah, Tim asked if they're doing meet and greets. Honestly, I don't know for sure uh, if we will have meet and greets. I would assume uh, we'll try to do something. It may be some sort of a social distanced kind of deal, like where we wave and howdy. We may not like shake hands and hug and all that. I, I don't know. That'll be up to the venues uh, when we get there. Um, and you can wear masks if you want to do that or whatever you're, you know, whatever you need to do. I'm sure they're 
they'll take care of all that. I'm just going to sing. <laughs> ben and I are just going to play and sing. Uh, the show in Brooksville will actually have a band, a full band, so that's going to be fun. Um, but yeah, go to TiaGoins.com if you haven't been on there. Um, I'm really trying to get more and more people on this YouTube site. Uh, it's youtube.com slash Tia Goins Music. If you would like to share that, let your friends know about it. Um, and also, if you go to TiaGoins.com, you can join Team Tia. Uh, it's free to join. You just give me your email address. You'll get on the mailing list. That way you will get um, like a monthly. I'm going to try to do a monthly newsletter uh, <laughs> this year, <laughs> every month, to kind of let you guys know what we've got coming up, what's going on, new videos, new music, whatever, things that are happening. Um, that we'll put up on there. And uh, I'm really trying to get away from the social media stuff. Uh, it's just, it's, I don't feel like Facebook and Instagram are getting my posts out like they used to. So I'm trying to really do everything here on YouTube. So I would suggest uh, that you jump on, grab yourself a free YouTube account if you don't already have one. Uh, and I, the only reason I'm saying that to you, I know you know that because you're here, but we're going to post this on Facebook later. So um, anyway, so I just want people to know it's free to set up a YouTube account. Yeah, it's just like setting up a Facebook account or anything else. Um, but then that way you can comment and do these live chats because we're going to start doing these chats once a week. It's the best. Um, Danny Briggs said YouTube is where you need to be. I agree. YouTube is so much better. Uh, video quality, sound quality. Uh, it's easier to upload things there. It's just, to me, it's just a lot cleaner. It's it's easier for me to see comments and things like that. Then Facebook's just gotten really, uh, the app and everything is, it's overwhelming to, to try to deal with all of it. They have, there's a Facebook app, there's a Facebook pages app, there's a Facebook for musicians app. There's like all this stuff and it's like dude I just want one account and to know where I'm at and that's what I want so yes I agree the sound quality is so much better here um let's see let's see what you guys got uh yeah see uh that silver forerunner I'm not sure what your name is but that's a great uh you must have a silver forerunner uh you should completely switch to YouTube he's gonna be leaving Facebook soon yeah I mean I think I think a lot of people are are switching out and you know social media is just it's a lot. So I'm trying to, to do more on YouTube because I feel like that's the best way to keep in touch and it's a good way to share music and it's an easy way for you to be able to share it on your pages or however you do music, you can do it all. So that's going to be awesome. Um, let's see. Um, what else we got on here? Jim. Jim is the silver forerunner. All right. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I agree. It is a much better interface. But yeah, so um, I spent my day writing music. I know. I told you guys I've been writing songs. I've been writing music and it's good times. I'm enjoying it. I'm really, really loving it right now. I can't, I can't tell you any more than that because there's nothing else to tell. That's just something that I'm exploring right now and I'm enjoying right now. It has been great uh, therapy for me during the quarantine and the COVID and the not being able to do shows. Songwriting has really become, um, uh, just a really good it's been a good thing for me so i'm i'm happy uh doing that so but that's what i spent my whole day doing and um yeah i look like i've been running laps but i haven't um anyway <laughs> but yeah so that's what i did today did you guys do anything fun today did you have a, a typical tuesday that was not uh i i don't do that every tuesday but i do it every now and then um Let's see, uh, any possible Larry appearances, Timothy said. I, I assume you're talking Larry's Country Diner. Not that I know of, um, but if, if there is one, y'all will be the first to know. I'll, I'll definitely be putting that out and letting y'all know that. Do I write with someone, Dan asks. Uh, I do right now. I've, I've been doing a lot more co-writing, um, which I'm hoping to do even more with other people and, and kind of stretch out. Uh, I might even be traveling to do some songwriting, which I think is cool. Like, I don't know. It's crazy, but it's exciting. It's really exciting to be in the, this is going to sound weird when I say this, but right now for me, it's an exciting time to be in the music business because everything is so different right now, but everything is kind of brand new right now, if that makes sense, because you know, we're not performing, uh, most artists are not performing much anyway. Um, it's, it's been a lot of downtime. It's been a lot of 
introspection and thinking about, you know, whatever and, and just kind of figuring out what, what you want to do next. So it's been a really, really, um, I don't know, encouraging time for me because, uh, I've talked about this in a couple of other of these videos. It's funny that it always comes back to this, but, uh, but yeah, it's been, um, really, really good for me to start writing music. Um, I hadn't even tried to write music in a really, really long time. And I feel like God just, the timing is right. Like he was like, okay, it's time to do this. And he gave me the time to do it, which is really cool. And gave me some great people to work with and to, to be, you know, writing with and, and they've encouraged me and it's just, it's been really, really a lot of fun. So that's what I did today. Uh, Sharon said, it's been great seeing y'all on Facebook, YouTube videos, uh, keeps the fans in touch, even though we can't go to concerts. Exactly. And so, um, that's, that's something that I'm really trying to do more of. I need, in fact, that reminds me, I've got to text Ben Hall and be like, Hey, we need to make some more couch cover videos. Cause it's time for more couch cover videos. Am I right? Or tr I'm trying to get those at least every couple of weeks, a new one. Um, so if you've got any suggestions of couch covers that you would like Ben and I to, to try, we're open for anything. We love a challenge. Doesn't matter. Whatever kind of music you want it to be, we'll try to do our version of it. So uh, feel free to put that out there. Marianne asked if I ever sang at the Grand Ole Opry. I have. I have done uh, the Opry and Opry Country Classics uh, nine times, actually, um, over the course of the last few years. So, yeah, I have done the Grand Ole Opry. I've sang at the Ryman Auditorium, which is amazing. And that's one of those things that I always wanted to do. And I can say I've done it. And I'm really happy that I can say that that's been something that I've, uh, been able to do. I'm very thankful for the opportunity and, you know, uh, thankful for any other opportunity that comes along that I get to go back. That's, that's really fun. Uh, Silver, you see Jim. Oh, hello. You saw me in Bremen, Georgia. Thank you. I'm glad you were there. Gosh, when was that? That seems like that was forever ago. When was that Bremen show? Was that like in September? That was with, uh, Crystal Gale. Yeah. Yeah. That seems like forever weird it's weird how like time has been I don't know in some ways 2020 in the past year has seemed really fast but then in other times it seems really slow um because it seems like I, I don't know for me anyway there are different things but it seems like it's went by quickly but then again it's been kind of like that like shows seem like they were a thousand years ago I did a show in October um in Texas and that feels like that was last year, and that was just in October. Um, so yeah, it's it's weird how this thing has affected our time frames. Uh, Nicole said uh, Patsy Klein for the couch covers. Uh, Jim said Bright Lights and Country Music couch covers. Okay. Um, let's see. Danny said God is the one to follow. Amen to that. Love your Sunday scriptures. Po love your Sunday scripture posts. Hope those won't stop. No, I don't plan on stopping this Sunday the uh the sunday scripture posts those those are just uh things that like in my studies and different devotionals and different sermons that i hear throughout the week i try to jot down um uh, you know certain things that speak to me so then i just share them because i think they're i don't know because they meant something to me and hopefully they'll mean something to you too um let's see uh are you and brandon gonna sing together ha no but <laughs> nicole no uh, Brandon doesn't sing much anymore. He used to sing. I'm not gonna lie. Brandon can sing and he used to, but he won't sing anymore. Um, but we are thinking about on one of our Tuesdays, one of our typical Tuesdays in February, since it's like Valentine's month, would y'all be interested in Brandon and I doing like a couples Q and A where you guys can ask us questions about us? Because I know everybody's always curious about Brandon and they want to talk. We want to see Brandon. We want to know Brandon, whatever. Like, do you think that would be good? Are you good? Okay, you seem like you're into that. Okay, good. Well, we'll probably do that some Tuesday in February. I don't even know, like, I don't know when the, uh, when Valentine's Day would fall. But we'll do that. I'm going to have to talk him into it. I'll have to really twist his arm. But he won't sing. But we will do a Q&A. We'll do, like, a couples. Uh, what is it called? The, 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 what is it called? The, um... What was the cup? What was the game show with the couples? The newlywed show? Is that what it's called? Yeah, it would be like the newlywed game of Brandon and I. Oh, Lord, that would be hilarious. 
hilarious. But he'll do it. I think he'll do it. I say that. I'm going to do it. Timothy said, are you surviving the bangs crisis? Well, have you noticed I've been messing with them? Okay, so the other day on my stories, I mean, I was kind of totally joking, but I was kind of totally serious too. So a lot of you all thought I was going to like cut my hair, I'm not cutting my hair. I will never cut my hair. I've had my hair short. Trust me, them days are over. My hair will not ever be short again. But I've always had, a lot of people don't know about bangs. Girls know, guys don't, they don't understand. So bangs are like this front part of your hair, right? Like these parts right here, okay? So I've always kind of had them cut sort of like that, you know, like shorter. And so I'm trying to grow them out to match the rest of my hair. The rest of my hair is like down to here. Obviously, I never wear it down, so how would you know that? But, like, my hair is really long. So I was going to try to grow these short pieces in front all the way down. But every time I try to grow them, they make me crazy. And I end up cutting them back to the old way. So I'm just, and I tried it every winter. I do this. Every winter. And it's usually about the third week of January that I'm like, forget it. And I cut them. So I'm trying to grow them out. I have not touched them yet. I am actually going to get my hair done uh, Thursday, but that'll just be like my highlights and stuff. So, but I'm not going to have her cut it. It'll just be, I'm going to leave them alone. I'm going to leave them alone. And you guys are going to help me, hold me accountable. So thank you for that. Um, thank you, Ronnie. You're very sweet. Oh, I just hit a button. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. I'm going to go back and read what you guys said. Yeah. Couples Q and A. Okay. You guys are into that. Good. We will do it. Mike said, Rhonda Vincent has a show in Brooksville, Florida listed on her website for the 20th. Is that a different show? I believe that must be a different show because mine's on the 12th and it's over a weekend. So it, I think it will be like the 11th, 12th, and 13th or something like that. And then there may be another festival that next weekend. I'm not sure. Um, but mine, the one that we're doing is called the Florida Bluegrass Classic. I don't remember seeing Rhonda on the, on the, uh, the paper, the, the flyer thing for it. Um, I know the Malpas brothers are on. And I believe T. Graham Brown is on. Um, but you can check it out. Make sh Verify. TiaGoins.com. You can verify all that. It's all on there. Or you can go to, I believe, uh, EvansMediaSource.com. I think is their website. You can find it. But yeah. Um, but Brooksville, the, they do have a lot of festivals there. So that's more than likely probably just another festival that's just happening that following weekend. Um, Danny said, Brandon should do it. He should be proud to be seen with you. Oh, he's... He's fine. He just doesn't like being on camera. That's his thing. He's not a fan of being on camera, which I'm not really a fan of being on camera, but I do it because it's my way to keep in touch. And like, I wish you guys could talk back to me, which you can obviously through the comments, which is helpful. Um, oh, David said the sweetest thing, Juice Newton for a couch cover. That's a good one. That's a good one. Charles said your hair looks great down. Thank you, Charles. I appreciate that. I, um, I don't wear it down very often. We're into a hair conversation right now. I don't, I don't want to wear y'all out about hair, but, you know, sometimes when I'm feeling okay, I'll wear my hair down. But honestly, it's so much easier just to put it up in a ponytail. I'm real easy, guys, like in, in hair. <laughs> like, I just, I don't wear much makeup. I don't do much to my hair. I literally, I mean, like, this is my, this is my dress up clothes right now. You're seeing my, my fancy go to Nashville and write music clothes. I'm not very fancy. I hate to break the news. Fancy is not my thing. Um, have you had a show with Aaron Watson? Timothy asked. No, but I, I love what he's doing. He's a great, great, great singer, great country music artist. Uh, but that'd be cool. Yes, Steve, today would have been Ray's 95th birthday. Ray Price, today would have been his birthday. So uh, I meant to mention that earlier, and I had it had slipped my mind. So thank you for reminding me. Um, Let's see. Sweet dreams for couch, for, uh, for couch covers. All right. Got it. How's the new sleep schedule going? Rick wants to know. So I mentioned this also on my stories. If you follow me on Instagram at all. Uh, yeah, I, for new year, my, my goal for the new year was to go to bed a little earlier and get up a little earlier because during the holidays, I got in a bad habit of staying up to like three or four o'clock in the morning, which I do that from time to time. It's just a thing I do. I can't, I, it's just, I don't know. Um, so I was trying to kind of ease back off that, but I did, uh, yeah, I've been doing pretty well. I've been going to bed somewhere around midnight. The last couple of nights, it's been a little before midnight. So that's really good for me. 
because usually I'm, I'm at least a midnight girl. Um, and then I've been trying to get up around, you know, eight-ish or nine-ish. I know, I'm a musician, it's what we do. We sleep late, we go to bed late, it's what we do. Okay, don't judge. Um, yeah, so that's how my sleep schedule's going. It's, it's better than it was. It's not four in the morning anymore, so that's good. Um, Jim changed his screen name, just changed my name from a screen name to my actual name to avoid confusion. <laughs> have you ever met Erin Enderlin? No, I have not met Erin, but I love her music. And in fact, uh, I was writing today with Moose Brown, who actually produced uh, her last record and has written quite a few songs with her. So yeah, uh, I, I have not met her, but I am a fan. She's great. Um, Crazy Arms, there you go. There's, there's, a, there's another one for the couch covers, it's good. How different is yours and Brandon's sleep schedule? Oh, very, because Brandon gets up very, very, very early for work. He doesn't get up as early now because he's working from home, but he still gets up like at five. So, but he, he can get by on less sleep than me. So a lot of times he'll stay up maybe till 11, 11.30, um, but he gets up really, really early. And I'm glad it's him and not me. That's all I'm gonna say about that, because I'm not that. Um, Danny said, you always look nice and always, oh, wait, and are so kind, not just on here, but in person, that's what makes you special. You went out on that cold night and got a CD for, oh, I remember that. I remember that. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm grateful that you guys would spend your Tuesday night watching this on YouTube right now. So I'm, I'm thankful for you guys. I'll, I, you know, I'm, how can I ever, how can I not be thankful and nice? Like, I want to be nice to you. I, I want you guys to, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for everything that you guys do. Hi, Eldon Smith, five hours max. And then he's got to get up. See, some people can get by with like very little sleep. And I envy those people because this one cannot, I require like at least eight hours and, and I'm thankful that I can get it most, most nights. I'm thankful for that. Did I, have I ever met Joey and Rory? I have. I'm, uh, Joey and Rory were on, um, the Christmas, uh, family reunion that we did probably, gosh, that's been, I bet that's been six, seven years ago probably when we did that. And then I've, I've met Rory and, and known Rory, you know, since then from here and there, but I did meet Joey also. Um, uh, Jim is a paramedic in ER, so he works night shifts, right? Uh, I would, I, I'm an, I would be a good night shifter because I'm, I'm pretty much a night shifter anyway. Uh, but I think, I think that's just part of like being a musician. That's you, like, I can't even remember when I was a kid and I would sing on the weekends and you know, the show would get over at 10 or 11 o'clock at night. And then you're so wound up after a show, or I am anyway, like I'm so like, you know, your, your adrenaline's up and whatever. And so I can't just like go home and go to bed. Like I've got to stay up and, you know, do something for a few hours just to, till I get worn down enough to fall asleep. So that's, I think, one reason why I stay up late. Uh, I'm sure the cats like you up all night. Yeah, the cat, you know what? I gotta tell you and watch for this video because one of these days I'm gonna do this. But my cats are so phenomenal. Like you don't understand. I have two cats, Buddy and Kidda. Uh, they are almost four and almost five. Is that right? Yeah. Golly, or maybe almost three and almost four. I don't know, but either way, they're great. They're both rescue cats. We found them on the side of the highway. They're phenomenal. Yes, I can sing just because she always has to summon my cats, Jim. Jim knows me well. Jim knows what's up. He's been here for a while. He knows that, yes, I can sing. There's a song I recorded uh, on uh, one of my albums called Just Because She Always Has, and I can sing it, and my cat comes to me, like, and jumps on me when I sing it. And, um, in fact, she, we have uh, woods behind our house, and she got lost in the woods at one point when she was about two years old and we couldn't find her and couldn't find her. We hunted and searched and everything. And that night I was just terrified that the coyotes were going to get her. And I went out and started singing that song on my back deck, like a lunatic. And she came out of the woods. It's a magic song, but no, what I was saying about my cats. So at nighttime, when we get ready to go to bed, as soon as we turn off the TV, 
both my cats jump down off their perch on the couch. They always sleep on the couch. They jump down off the couch and they go into their spare bedroom because they have one of the bedrooms is the cat's room. And they jump down and they go to their bedroom and we shut the door and they sleep in there. And then in the morning when I get up, I let them out. Like, they're so great. Like, my cats are like dogs and the fact that we didn't train them to be that way. They just do it. And they're so great. And when we leave, like if we leave the house, same thing. We're like, okay, guys, we're getting ready to go. And they're like, choo, 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 and they run in there. I'm going to video it one of these times because I think people would be impressed with my very uh, obedient cats that I don't know why they're so obedient, but I'm glad they are because if they weren't, it would drive me nuts. Um, David's watching from Superior, Wisconsin. Glad you're on Facebook I, or glad you're on YouTube. I don't do Facebook. Yeah, I hear you, man. Um, I'm, I'm glad I'm on YouTube too. I really, really prefer YouTube about a million times over Facebook. Facebook was just getting to be too much and it's still a little too much and I'm still utilizing it because I have a lot of people over there and it's really hard to get them all switched over to YouTube but uh, hopefully eventually they'll all jump ship and come over here. I mean they don't have to leave Facebook completely but they need to leave my Facebook and come over here because this is where the fun's at, right? I'm just saying like this is what we need to tell the people. Um, yeah. Oh, Nicole said I need to meet her dog Kitty. He thinks he's a cat. That's awesome. Yes, Sharon. I am a cat whisperer. I agree. I agree. Um, but yeah, my my cats, they're they're great. They're awesome. They're not in here right now or they are not allowed in in our bedroom. My cats are like I have strict rules about my cats. They're totally they have full reign of the house, but never in the bedroom because I don't want them in my bed. I don't want, you know, mm-mm. -mm. They're just in there and it's all good. They're fine. They're fine. And I'm happy with that. Anyway, we have talked for 26 minutes and I appreciate you guys jumping on here on this Tuesday night. Feel free to share this. If you do use other social media platforms, feel free to share this video. Tell people that we do this every Tuesday night and they're welcome to jump in. And uh, I'll go through your uh, requests for our couch covers. I need to get it with Ben and we need to make some couch covers. Um, and be watching for a new in the moment because I think Brandon and I are going to be road tripping this weekend. So I'm not exactly sure where we're going, but it's probably south. So be watching for that. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great night. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye.